Hey, hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today is Monday morning. Hi. Hi, Hi vlog. <laughs> Getting ready to go run some errands. We are gonna pick up our groceries that we ordered online via click list. Um, I'm going to give you guys a grocery haul and a weekly meal plan in this video, tell you guys everything that I'm making for dinner this week and show you everything that I got. Um, we also are gonna pick up a Target order and we're gonna stop by Hobby Lobby. We live kind of far from town, so whenever we make our way into town, I try to hit up like all the spots that I've been needing to go to. So um, as you guys know, we just recently redid our kitchen and there's a shiplap wall on the end of our pantry that I want to look for a sign for at Hobby Lobby. Um, the kids have not been in a store since like March, but we have everybody's masks and we're good to go. So we're gonna run to Hobby Lobby, Target, and pick up our groceries. Yes, and I also ordered Subway on the Subway app and we're gonna pick up some lunch and eat it on the way to town. Uh, our Subway has a drive-thru so it's super convenient. I just order on the app and we just drive right up and pick it up, but it's gonna be a good day today. Okay, what is so funny? I just smiling. You're smiling but we can't see. I like you. Right in. Hi, Buckley. Okay, come on, dude. Oh my gosh. All right, we finished up at Hobby Lobby. The kids did awesome. Their first time shopping and having to wear masks. Um, picked up our Target order. Now we are at Fred Meyer picking up our groceries. We also, we had to kill some time because Hobby Lobby didn't take as long as I thought it was gonna take. Honestly, there was like hardly anything on the shelves. So um, Home Goods is actually like two stores down from Hobby Lobby. So we walked down there, strolled around Home Goods. I have only been to Home Goods once in my whole life. That was the second time I've ever been. And I got a couple of things there. I was looking for cutting boards with like a strap on them and I found two of them. So I'm excited about that and also a new cake stand. I was, I've been holding out for the one from Target, the Magnolia Home one or the hearth and hand one, but it's never in stock. It's not in stock, in stock for like shipping or anything. Um, but I found one that's like super, super, super similar, which I have one that's really similar, but it's really small. And so it's a big one and it was only 24 bucks and it's beautiful. Um, so yeah, I'll show you guys everything whenever we get home, but the kids get, did so well. They're whispering in the back seat. <laughs> but we're here just waiting for them to bring our groceries out now. So we will see you guys whenever we get home for a grocery haul and I'll kind of show you guys how I plan out meals for the week as well. All right guys, we're home. I'm going to show you what I got from Hobby Lobby, Home Goods, and Target. After I show you the grocery haul portion, I have everything laid out here on the island and I'm getting ready to show you, I have my tripod out, I'm getting ready to show you um, meal plan for this week. So basically what I do each Monday for the most part is I write down Monday to Sunday and then I write out the meals that we're gonna be having and like anything extra that I am gonna be cooking and then I go on click list and I order like add all the ingredients for each thing that I'm gonna be cooking um, and then whatever extra and then everything that I like order weekly I add you know like snacks and lunch stuff and all that I just add all that to my cart and order it so I shop for one week at a time but the main thing that helps me stay organized during the week is having our meals planned for dinner like I cannot stand being like oh what's for dinner tonight and like not knowing already ahead of time um, so I have this chalkboard that I got from Hobby Lobby years ago and then I just use uh, this chalk marker that I got in a set from Amazon and I just take a baby wipe or a wet rag and wipe off the meals each week and then write out what we're having. So this was last week. So I'm gonna go ahead and write out our meals for this week. I always just do it on a piece of paper to do kind of like my scratch paper and then I'll put it on our dinner menu um, for the week to be permanent. And it's nice because then the whole family knows of what we're having every single night. There's no questions, I know. So then, you know, each morning I can pull out whatever meat needs to thaw out and stuff like that. So it's nice that it's always just planned. So let's go ahead and get this changed out to this week. This 
this week all of the recipes except for one are from the Magnolia Table Cookbook Volume 2. I love both of Joanna Games cookbooks. They are so good and I've been using them a ton lately. So on Monday I'm doing chicken parmesan with homemade sauce which is also from that cookbook. Tuesday we're doing tacos. We always do tacos on Tuesday and that's just a recipe of my own. Wednesday we're doing honey garlic chicken served over rice. Thursday Dutch oven lasagna. Friday we're going to be going on a date for date night so we'll be eating out. Saturday we're going to be camping just for one night with some friends for a friend's birthday. And then on Sunday I'm going to do the Sunday pot roast also from the same cookbook. I'm not going to go in any particular order. I just threw everything out here. So I have chicken thighs for that honey garlic chicken recipe. I've got my chuck roast for pot roast. Ground beef here. I have some ground beef in the freezer already, but I just needed one more pound. We've got some ranch, some chocolate milk. There's that uh, provolone cheese for the Philly cheese steaks. Um, unsalted butter. This is just, I always just have this on hand for baking. Um, Philadelphia original cream cheese for that uh, Dutch oven lasagna. Baby carrots for pot roast, poblano peppers, one for tacos, two for the Philly cheesesteaks. Got mozzarella for the Dutch oven lasagna, bell peppers uh, for Philly cheesesteaks, and what else? Uh, that chicken recipe. Zucchini for zucchini bread. I got some bread flour for the blueberry uh, sweet rolls. And then also, this is just good to have on hand for like pizza crust and stuff like that. Got some unbleached flour for, I've just been baking a lot <laughs> recently and my flour is out up there so I need to fill that up. We've got some quick oats. This is, these go in like cookies and stuff like that. Um, we've got the chocolate chip dips and then just the regular chocolate chip granola bars. We've got the fire roasted diced tomatoes, everything. This is also for a dinner recipe. I was out of sandwich bags, so we've got those. Lasagna noodles, milk chocolate, chocolate chips, and semi-sweet chocolate chips. Gotta have those on hand for cookies. Um, we've got some garlic salt. I was out of dark brown sugar and light brown sugar, and also cane sugar, so I stocked up on those. We've got some pirate's booty. Uh, I've got three breasted potatoes for that pot roast. I've got some mac and cheese some freezer bags, got honey for that chicken recipe, got some ice cream, Tillamook is like the only brand ice cream that we buy, Utterly Chocolate, this is the kids favorite, and then we've got Marionberry Pie, which is one of Donnie's faves. I've got two things of eggs here, and got sourdough hoagie rolls for Philly cheesesteaks, I've got tortillas for taco night, we do tacos every Tuesday, Got some bread, a pineapple for that chicken recipe, and some lemon sparkling water and orange sparkling water. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and get all of this stuff put away. I'm gonna show you guys what I got from 
Hobby Lobby, Home Goods, Target. So, like I was telling you guys, Hobby Lobby wasn't, um, I don't know, it wasn't that great. I think it was that way last time I went to. There wasn't a whole lot to pick from. The shelves are all pretty bare, but they're starting to bring out all their fall stuff. But they had like no real like farmhouse stuff. Like I was looking for a sign to go above this window right here in the kitchen. Like a, I don't know, I might just have to have, to have a custom one made again. Like I had at my old house that says like farmer's market or something like that. But I did get this little cutout one that's black that says let's eat. I'm going to put this above the oven, above the stove with my little wreath that I have up there. I'll turn you guys so you can see it. This sign, kitchen conversions. I love the black and white with the wood or like the jute, you know, like the wood tones um, for in here since everything is white now except for the island and the shelves. So I plan on is stuck in my earring. I plan on putting this on the end of the pantry where we did the shiplap and then I have these black hooks that I'm going to put under it to hang some cutting boards on that I got today as well. It was kind of like my vision and I found the perfect cutting boards to go on those hooks. So I want some like wood tones like lighter wood tones to pull in the kitchen because like the floors and our countertops and stuff like that instead of just like the super dark like the island and the shelves um i just love this sort of like wood tone too ties into the rest of our house whatever so i got this to go on the center of the island to put plant and then this cookie jar that i got from target because like i said i've been baking so many cookies the kids love it donnie love it, loves it i just like having like cookies here at the house you know Grab a cookie out of the cookie jar, everyone snacks. So, got this to go on the island, I believe. All the, yeah, all the table decor was 50% off. So, this was a good deal. And then from Home Goods, I got, like I was saying, a couple of cutting boards. Cannot believe that that was only my second time in Home Goods. It just recently opened up here, like maybe, I don't know, a year ago or so. So, um, I got these two. They both have straps on them to hang from the hooks, but I just think having them like layered like this, hanging, but then I can actually like use them too, like grab them off the hooks to use them. I just love them. This one has like this, um, I don't know if it's like etched glass or like plastic here, but sorry, my phone keeps going off and I haven't put it on silent, but this one, and then I love this round one, just a little texture. Add some depth to that shiplap wall. And then this also was a random home goods thing. I do not have a baking dish that is this size for like casseroles and stuff like that. All the ones I have are really deep and kind of narrow. So this was a good find. I love the handles on it. Okay, and then the last thing from home goods is this cake stand I was telling you guys about. Look at how pretty it is. Okay, so I'll show you a comparison to the small one that I got from Wayfair compared to this one. I wanted one that was this size that you could like legit fit like an actual cake under. Um, Cause the one that I have, I've been putting like cookies in it because it's not like round enough for a cake. But this is the one that I got from Wayfair. You can see how small it is compared to this one. So, oh, isn't it so pretty? I just love it. I need to wash it. The glass is all dirty, but. Home goods. Target. This is the uh, container canister that I was telling you about, guys about that I got to use as a cookie jar. So it has that same wood um, top. And I think this is the, yeah, this is the threshold line. They had all different sizes, but I thought this was a good size to go on that circular thing that I found. And the wood tones all match. Okay, I got this. What is this called? A box? Oh, a box grater. So it has all the, I'm, I'm always into like zest things like lemon zest, this or that. And I, the only grater I have has like the bit, it's like a big grater like this. So this has the really, really small ones, the big ones, it has like the slicer and then the like middle sized ones from, so I got this from Target. I've um, been meaning to get one of those for a while, but I finally just remembered today when I was on there. Um, and then these are random, random. Um, I got this to maybe go on that center 
tray thing as well. Now, I didn't know that I was gonna get that center tray thing, but worked out perfectly that I got this. So that's where that's gonna go. Ooh, that smells good. Cedar Magnolia, it kind of smells like men's cologne, but that is from the Hearth and Hand line. And then this is the last thing we've got. This sign that I've had my eye on for a very long time. Now I need to play around and decide where I wanna put it, but it is this metal sign that says, welcome home. So that is everything. There's our little haul today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe if you guys are new here. I do all sorts of lifestyle and home content here on my channel. So love to have you. Subscribe. Let me know if you guys try any of the recipes from the Magnolia Table cookbooks. I have been absolutely loving them. And everything that I've made, I'm definitely gonna be making again. So let me know if the comments are on, let me know in the comments. I doubt they're gonna be on because YouTube doesn't like to let me have comments for whatever reason for like over a year now. But anyways, thank you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye. You act like you want me inside.